Hello! Sorry, wiggling. My name is Michelle, and welcome to Michelle Cleans Up. Um, this week's compilation is Running Late. Um, uh, I like that my daughter drew on me with her body art markers. It distracts me frequently. Um, so fairly good week for keeping up on things. There were some really awesome things. There were some pretty not so awesome things that you'll see throughout the video. Um, on Wednesday, I didn't put that in. Um, I, it was a very emotional video. Uh, it was about how often I feel overlooked. Um, all the times in my life where normally people would get somebody to help them, like bring in food or anything like that, and mine was getting delayed. It was super triggered. <laughs> Sorry. It was super triggered by um, Tuesday night. They were supposed to, supposed to put shelves in. They didn't come. Wednesday night, they were supposed to put shelves in. They didn't come. He wanted to come on Thursday. I'm like, busy. Um, wanted to come on Saturday. I'm like, busy. And then he's not going to be available for at least two weeks. Don't know if I'll ever get the shelves. And that stirred up a lot of feelings for me. So that's something that's missing in the future videos. Um, yeah. Because I took out that extra bad video. I don't know. It's just not worth, worth sharing. Um, I'm doing a lot better now that the week is over and um, I addressed a couple of feelings that I had and I'm doing a lot better. So yay, because I was really not a happy person to be around for a while there. So it's good to have that out. Um, and the dog is doing really, really good. Uh, doesn't, he has to hit pretty hard to yelp. Um, his cone, if his cone hits, has to hit pretty hard now. And today, um, I started not giving him pain pills for some of his meals. Um, so we're getting there. I'm excited for that. Um, and I probably would completely stop except for he still has stitches and that we got to go get out. And we'll see how that goes. Um, it's been so busy. I haven't even gotten a chance to call the vet. <sighs> but... I'm trying to get this done. I'm starting this compilation video so that we can get everything in. Um, I hope you enjoy what you watch. Some of it is me talking. Some of it's befores and afters. And there's going to be a part that, if it all works out, should be a fast cleanup. Um, like a fast speed clean with me kind of thing. Sorry, wiggling again. I had um, a mini clean and heal with me on Thursday. And so that's in there. And anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye. It is Tuesday evening. I did dust today. I was very excited about that. Um, it had needed it. And so <laughs> I felt really good about that. Um, had an interesting experience today because I'd been thinking from the body of nine thing that I'd been talking about. I'd been thinking that my daughter was a number seven. There was something about it that just didn't fully sit true for me, but I really couldn't tell what number she could be. Um, but we went and got her um, the little, oh, what's it called? Confirmation. And she's a number two. She needs eye contact. Oh. I don't need eye contact, so it does make for a bit of an interesting thing, but it will be okay. And now that I know that, I can be a lot more conscious about it. So I'm ex really excited for that. Um, I'm getting ready to do a tiny tidy um, because I watched uh, uh, Melinda Plain and Zimple. Um, I watched her video, her tiny tidy, and I was like, hmm, I can do a tiny tidy. To a separate video to kind of show you what I'm sitting in and what I will do for my tidy. So, um, and part of this is just the craziness of our weekend with the dog. And part of this is getting ready for people coming over. There's just a lot of factors that went into this. So it will be good to just kind of tidy it up. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> on my bed... 
Um, this tote here has my flowers for my vase in it. Um, it's holiday stuff. And so on Sunday, I pulled it all out so I could hurry and do my vase. And then I was just so focused on getting things done that I didn't put anything back. On top of it, a sweater I need to hang up. And then this is fabric that... I checked to see if my daughter-in-law wanted. She didn't, so I need to find out if my daughter wants it. If she doesn't want it, then I'm going to let it go. Um, this book, well, I need to put away my tripod. I just used this this evening. Um, this right here is a puzzle book that I asked my daughter-in-law if she wanted. She decided she didn't want to deal with puzzle pieces, so we that needs to be tidied up. There are two pieces of fabric here that I just never folded because they were so big and just effort, but I'm going to take and make that effort today. Um, this bag is yarn I just bought today. So it's got um, scrubby yarn in it. Um, let me get the other one. I had bought this one as well. I'm making dishcloths. So I got this one going. It's got the, like the scrubby things here and then regular dishcloth here. So I'm excited about those projects. This yarn here is, um, I made these socks. They've got this cute little ruffle on them. And I don't know what color she wants the next pair of socks, so I pulled out a bunch. So I'm waiting for her to come over. So those are some of the things to tidy right there. Um, and then... I really have got to find some great solution because over here, once again, my nightstand, I guess in the fly lighting system, would be called a hot spot. Um, this area just is such a challenge for me to keep up on. So I'm going to take a minute and do some of that and get that in order and go a little bit slowly so we don't make everybody dizzy. This is usually on the bed that I made, but I was laying down for a minute, so I moved it. These are clothes, and some right there too, that got washed over the weekend, and I never took time, because like I said, I was focused on getting the house ready for visitors, so I never took time to do it. And then there's a few things down here on the floor to put away. For the most part, there's just a tiny, like literally a tiny tidy for this shelves to just kind of put some things back where they go and that kind of thing. So, I might start there because it looks like it might be the easiest. I did tidy this up a little bit, but I moved my Whoppers room down there to up there so it wouldn't be close to the dog, but I did tidy up a lot of this. Um, I tidied up the floor. I didn't have kids put those markers back, but um, took care of the laundry. Gotta ask my daughter, but she's not home about that. This, my other daughter needs to try on so that we can hum it before her concert next week. But all that's taken care of. And the stuff on my bed is taken care of. And those pieces of fabric are folded. Um, what I didn't do was much in this. Did kind of straighten over there a little bit. But even though I didn't get all of that done, I still felt pretty good because I got a lot of like the holiday stuff that was up here put away, laundry folded and put away, um, and and considering that I didn't take a lot of time to do it, I feel pretty good. Okay guys, this is it. This is what my laundry room is looking like. Um, that box I can send out to the trash. And somehow tonight... <laughs> They're coming to put shelves from here across to the corner and across to over here. Um, I don't know, like seriously, how. <laughs> how are they going to get in there?
is grumpy. <laughs> it is Friday night, and um, I did do some dishes today. I was kind of probably a bit on the passive aggressive side, actually, because the kids were like, "Are the dishes in this clean?" Yes, I washed them by hand. I said. Um, are the dishes in this clean? Yes, I washed them by hand. And it was very much emphasizing that I washed them for making my bed, if you will. Um, I didn't make my bed because I put all my my bedding into the wash. By the time it got brought back upstairs, I was not in a position to make it. I did throw over, I have a little afghan that I put on top of it, and I threw that over it to kind of look like made. So it feels kind of made, but now I'm sitting here, it's midnight, I'm so tired, just got done doing a lot of um, the recording for my yarn tutorial that I put off until kids went to bed. So I still need to put the blankets and sheets back on my bed. Um, I actually have a little basket that I have sitting here on my bed. And I think I want to make some decisions about that before I go to bed. Um, it's stuff that was down in the laundry room that I just threw in the wash to see what's what. And um, some of it when I was putting in the washing machine was a little bit hard. Here's what we have on my bed. This is the beginnings of my yarn project for my crochet tutorial that I'm making and it's sitting here um, there's my pile of sheets and blankets like I said I put this over today and then I have this basket so a lot of these there was a lot of socks I don't know why my mom had so many socks but like these were her socks and I don't want to just throw everything away because like, seriously, look how cute that is. There's, like, little Christmas kitties. If both of these socks are here, I would so wear these. Um, so I have a lot to look through and figure out what's what. Mask that was just on the laundry room floor, then I washed up so we can put it in the mask box. Um, I keep some of the masks around because... You know, things are still going around. We don't know what we're going to use. Um, this is a Navajo blanket, unfortunately. I mean, like, if it was my aesthetic, I could hang it on the wall for decoration. It's not my aesthetic. I do think this blue is really pretty, but... Um, it's wool, as Navajo blankets tend to be. And probably shrunk, because I washed it. <laughs> um... But the reality is, I am allergic to wool, so I just want to get this out of here. So, I have already made a decision on that. Oh, look, there's a tag. Okay, this makes me laugh. This was made in Pendleton, Oregon. And it makes me laugh because my mom used to work in Salt Lake, Utah, at a sewing factory putting in labels that said made in Pendleton, Oregon. I know this wasn't one of them, but it was just so funny to me that I grew up hearing about how she worked in Oregon or she worked in Utah putting labels and things that they made here in Utah saying made in Pen Pendleton, Oregon. So I don't trust labels, honestly. Anyway, um, so that was in there. There's lots of things. There's some kind of um, tablecloth in here. There is. This is what I'm most excited to actually look at now that it's clean. It's a little um, quilt top that I think was in stuff of my grandma's. So there's some purple fabric in here probably put it in the stack with the other purple fabric until I figure out what I'm doing. But yeah, I've got this basket that I want to go through before I go to bed real quick. Okay, so here's the quilt top. I think it's really pretty. 
But if I were to keep this, this would be a fantasy self. Because the reality is, I can't even imagine when, if ever, I would actually ever do anything with this. If I had people, um, there, I had a friend that lived in the neighborhood that she made quilts. She made me a quilt that I absolutely love putting out at Christmas time. Um, if she was still around, I would ask her, you know, to put it together for me. Um, because I think that would, this would be really fun to have. But, do I know anybody that would put it together for me? I don't even know what size this is. It's a good size quilt. But it's like just the top. Now maybe I want to ask if there's anybody who could put it into a actual quilt and make it into a quilt for me. Hmm. I'm going to do some asking. Ask some questions and if I don't find somebody who can make it into a quilt for me then I'm going to let it go. This is not all of the socks. This is all the socks that was in that load of laundry. I have already washed and gone through probably a good two piles like this right after she first died and I know that there are some more socks down in the laundry room probably at least another pile like this she had so many socks although this one makes sense a teacher is someone who cares to the core um, my mom was a school teacher so um, and then this is kind of hard to see. I made these slippers for her. I don't know where the other one is. But I made these for her. And so it's actually kind of hard to see the things that I made for her. And, yeah. Um, I know that there is another basket in the hall of stuff that was hers that I need to go through too. But they're not in my way. These were in my way. So I am getting rid of the tablecloth and that like Indian style blanket. There was another like baby quilt top. It was like one of those pre-quilted top things from the store that just needs binding on it. But I'm not going to do it so I'm just going to send it away. And um, then there's this. I don't know. I might throw this away. It's looking pretty gross. But this is that stuff that, um, the shelving stuff. And you can use this to open bottles and stuff. But it's so gross. It's so, but I like could totally do that. Put a border on new ones if I wanted. And then a cloth that had been missing. And a mask. So, I will go through socks. Uh, a lot of them I'm just going to throw away. If there's any that look like they're good enough to pass on that I don't want to keep, I will keep it. If I have ones like these that are really cute, if there's only one of them in the pile, I might save it for a little while till I can see if I can find another one. So that's kind of my plan. Okay, I have a basket. Of more stuff to go through. I know most of this will be done. Socks. This is actually a match to one I have it in my thing last night. Ooh, a glove. Uh, more socks. Um, I already threw one sock over in my stuff from last night because I knew it matched. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should make a pile of the socks just from this back of skit to see what else we've got. Um, I can already tell you most of the stuff is going to be going bye bye. These plus one other sock were the socks that were in this load. I have over here a pair of pants and something else to try on just to see if they fit, if I would want them. I don't know yet. There was um, a whole bunch of stuff. This, What's in this bag right here is all stuff that was in the basket, kind of folded. Um, and then there's like a couple random gloves and a piece of flannel. Flan 
felt. Final. Um, I still have loads of laundry to do down there. But first I'm going to go get my laundry done and make my bed. It's so time to make the bed. Um, these are the pants. The hair. Okay, they're a little bit snug, but they actually fit me pretty well. So that's cool. Um, I found, oh, first of all, two garbage bags, black garbage bags taken out to go to the thrift store with um, all the things plus anything we've been collecting clothes-wise. So it's clothes and uh, sheets and tablecloths, things like that. Okay, so I found this. My aunt had made something, and I thought the thing might... I remember when my aunt gave it to my mom. I was like, that's ugly, and my mom's never going to wear that. My mom never wore it, but when I found this on there, it's a brooch. And I'd actually been wanting something. I think this is beautiful. I've always loved the look of the... Oh, the name alludes me what that is right now, but I've always loved the look of it, and I just think it's really pretty. I have this, it's a shawl that I made myself. I love it, I wear it in a lot of different ways, but I was wondering, I had been kind of wanting a brooch. I'd had a brooch, I used a string to tie it different ways. I'd had a brooch that I gave to my daughter because I thought I wasn't going to wear it again. And I just decided never to ask her back for it. But I do need to ask her if she's going to keep that or if I can have it back. Because I would use it now that I have this. But I thought, I bet you that would look pretty on there. It's kind of hard to see. Oops, sorry. Because the blue is there. Maybe I can create a shadow. There. I think that would look pretty on there. So... I kept the brooch, sent the thing that my aunt made away. Alrighty guys, Sunday night, finishing up the week. <sighs> um, for supposed to be October, therefore weather's supposed to be getting cool. My house is sure very hot in the evenings. But I don't want to turn the air conditioning back on, so we suffer. Um... I feel pretty good about this week. I went to a family reunion yesterday, so I didn't get any more cleaning done, but except for doing my laundry. I feel pretty good about it. I did my things. I got my different chores, assignments done. What's crazy is I can already see dust all over places. I'm not willing to dust more than that, though. Once a week is all it's going to get. Just I don't have the energy to dust more frequently. I know that it really means that there's some, like, vents need to be cleaned and things like that. But, oh well. Anyway, um, I hope you have an amazing week. See you guys next week.